God, I'm so hot, I'm sweating and I'm putting this on. Um, this is fur, unfortunately. I'm, I'm against fur, but hey, they were my grandmother, so what am I gonna do, you know? Okay, so this is like a collar and you just put it over your coat. And guys, when you wear this, uh, it's just a whole different thing. I mean, even if you don't have makeup on and you wear this, you look good, unfortunately. I don't wear it that often because I'm against furs, but you know, these are my grandmothers. This was another one, which is, I, you really, it's so soft, and it went around your neck, but since I wouldn't, I didn't wear it that often, I just joined it with uh, some rubber bands here, and I made it into one of those Russian hats. So, um, yeah, this is how it came out. This is how it came out, and I wear it in the winter time, so it's very nice. I don't know, don't ask me what animals they are because I don't know. Then this is a, probably it's a fox and it's another uh, collar here. But I still, I've never worn this. You probably should like pin it down um, on something and I've never worn it. Also because it, it just makes me feel bad when I wear them. Oh, another accessory. This was a, um, another bag and it's the tortoise bag I was telling you about. This is how you put in your lipstick, um, something else here, and there's the powder, you see, this is for the powder, and another compartment here. I wore this once too at a very, and this is how you lock it, at a very important party. And oh, then I have another pair of earrings. I have a gold pair. Uh, well, I have a lot of jewelry from my grandmother, really, but I'll probably do another video on that. Um, clothing, this is another jacket made from Lorenzo Riva. And it's hard to tell, but it's all velvet, and the lining is all satin. Hmm. It's black, you can't see it. Anyway, the buttons are these little bows. Can you see them? The buttons are these little bows and they're just lovely. And I wore this many, many times. I also wore it when I was a teenager to go like clubbing and stuff. I was so stupid. And one evening, um, I don't remember what happened. I, I got like so stupid. I started ironing this and it's like pure velvet. And it's just, and it, I ruined it. I ruined the sleeve because I started ironing the sleeve and I saw that the iron had made like a, an indentation or something so I quickly stopped anyways this this is one of my favorite jackets oh this is the jacket yeah maybe you can see it better like this you see the collar how pretty it is and this goes with a skirt which I don't have but it used to go with a skirt then we have a whole set of things you wear at night these are like the best pieces ever this is a, um, a scarf and I wore this too, and I ruined it also, and I'm such an idiot. This is all hand-painted, and it's silk. It just, the design, I mean, this is my dream. I used to dream of doing these things, because I was a textile designer. See, there's a hole here. There's a hole because it's so old. And what I want to do is, I'm never going to wear this, but I want to frame it and make like, a picture because it is a picture it's it's art the and I want to get inspired from some of these like flower bouquets that they're like gorgeous look at that all hand painted see beautiful what is also precious and I wore when I was young and I was also stupid because these are night gowns you go to bed with the, these things on that she used to go to bed with these things on. But they're like slip dresses and nightgowns also. They could easily be dresses today. And they're all silk with lace. And this, I don't know if I wore this. I probably wore this to bed like an idiot. <laughs> and I could have worn it as a dress. Yeah, this I wore to bed because I wanted to be sexy. But... <laughs> Instead of being sexy, I tore the lace because they're so delicate. I mean, the lace is probably like over 60 years old and the straps are so thin and so delicately like sewed on that you see, I, I like tore it a bit. 
be a dress, a beautiful dress. Look at the bottom, it has like a lace, okay? Then this is one of my favorites too, and the straps are always very, the straps are always very, very thin, and this is how it looks like up close. Look how gorgeous it is. It doesn't have any embroidery at the bottom. So this is another nightgown. And so even when she went to bed, she was elegant. This is not another one of my favorites. This could easily really be a dress. Look at this. Look how pretty. This is all chiffon, I think, with lace. And they just don't make these things anymore. And if they do, I mean... And the bottom is the same, like, chiffon, which is not a chiffon, but I don't remember. I should know this because I studied it, but... And then embroidery here, lace embroidery. So this is easily another dress. La pièce de résistance, as you say in French, the best for last. So this I wore to a wedding, and it's a dress, and she used to go and, like, sleep in this. And instead, I wore it as a dress. So it's very long. Difficult for, sh for me to show it to you, but it's, see, it's long, it's like a whole dress, and it has also like a belt that just goes around in the back. This is the embroidery it has, and the sleeves, look how pretty the sleeves are. The sleeves. And this is the design that it has. I don't know if you can see it. You can see the design. Just lovely. And this is the back, the way it goes in the back. So yeah, maybe you can see it like this. Um, yeah, that's just a bit of, a little tiny bit of what my grandmother has. And um, she has uh, more things and unfortunately, like I said, I can't get a hold of them. Uh, this was also my grandmother's, this little heart, I think. And um, anyways, may, oh, this was my grandmother's also. Many, many things that are just one of a kind and not to mention the jewelry that is one of a kind, also always handmade for her. So my grandmother was a great woman. Uh, people tell me I look like her and I have the same character as her and um, I'm very happy and honored because she was a noble woman, very elegant and you don't meet many women like that anymore. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it and even though the lighting was pretty bad and you know, I didn't know, I really don't know how to show you how like I could show you these things but you pretty much get a feel, especially of her um, accessories. I have like other, like a whole 24 karat gold watch that was hers. I could just go on and on, but one day I'll do another video um, about her um, accessories. So anyways, thanks a lot guys and see you in the next video. Ciao.